Good morning. It's cold today, but we've got bright sunshine. Probably going to be a halfway decent day out. Uh, we are making our first seed delivery. This one is a long ways away. This is the farthest one that I've got to do. Uh, it's about 80 miles, so it's going to take me an hour and a half to get there. And we uh, <clears throat> it's a full load. So we'll get this one delivered and head back and load up for another one. So there are some roads that are closed up here where we're making this delivery we got it we got our seat off trailers empty back there but um we're uh, a little detour on the way back i'm following my my gps the number of people that have paved driveways coming off of this dirt road is astonishing to me like we're up ann arborish way and the urban sprawl up here is just outrageous um but yeah it really cracks me up how many people have paved driveways off of this dirt road like does that really do you any good all right we are back uh sales rep tony is here sorting plots again we got to get out uh, sort out the corn that we need to make this next delivery once again, the rule is always that whatever I need is as far in the back of the row as possible. So we've got a pallet that's clear against the wall in that line. We've got to move everything to get to it. Of course we do. All right. We are loaded up. We've got two customer stuff on here. I kind of added one because there's a partial trailer loader. Less on there than I thought. I had, the, the main guy I was going to deliver to, I thought he had seven spots but he had three pallets of corn that were like 13 bags, so I just put them all on one pallet. So I had a couple extra spots. And so I called another customer over there that only had a couple pallets, and we're gonna drop them both off. But I'm running a touch behind. It's okay. Um, I will give that a call here in a minute, but I gotta pull into the farm first because we gotta teach Brock how to put our new parts on our planter. That's what he's gonna work on today. So this morning he put our uh, clover seeder in the back of the gator here and got everything right. Does it work? Does it turn on? It does. Okay, good. Nice. Dad, this is a heavily modified herd uh, seeder for the back of an ATV that we've, um, we've increased the capacity a little bit, let's just say. So that's ready to go. We got just a couple hundred acres or not even of uh, clover seed to spread. Yeah, our spinner is in pretty rough shape. And every year I say, well, we'll replace it next year. And well, We'll replace it next year. Oh well. It'll be fine. No big deal. It's all going where it's supposed to. And it's just a cover crop. So anyway, he's going to work on these parts for this thing that I can't show you. So bye. Ah, just missed it. Uh, just getting back to the f uh, farm here from our second delivery. Brock is out spreading clover seed in our wheat here across the road. He just went over the hill with the gator. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to go check on him and see how he's doing. If he's got the rate dialed in or how that's going. What are the chances he grabbed a camera and you know was filming it for us? I don't know. It doesn't look like he did this side. I don't see any tracks. So must be just getting started. Fertilizer delivery coming from the Andersons. There's Brock. It's uh. It's rather windy, like way too windy to be spreading clover seed because it's going to screw the pattern way up. So I'm going to shut it down. We'll see how he's doing here. But How are we doing? Take a little bit to get dialed in. How much have you done? Uh, I'm all over here. Did you do the other field? No. I started on the lane. The lane. Okay. How many bags did you put in to start with? Oh, half. Half. All right. All right. Um, do you think it's too windy? You're, yeah, I know it's hitting the ground, but it's got to spread 30 feet, dude. I think it's way too windy, so shut it down. It's time. We need to get that clover seed spread, but it's just, it's really windy. And I don't want, uh, I don't want, want a crappy pattern because we're going to push it and do it when it's windy. So I might have an opportunity to do so tomorrow. I've got a couple of loads lined up of uh, seed to do, but or yeah, deliveries to make, but I think we'll be all right. Is he coming around here? I didn't open that door. Maybe, I'm not sure. 
we'll talk about the frost seed and the clover later, but essentially uh, what we're trying to do is spread that clover seed in our wheat. It's a cover crop that will grow after we harvest uh, the wheat. And by doing it now, when we get these freeze thaw cycles, so at night it's we're getting frost, it's freezing, and it kind of makes the ground crack and heave and stuff, and it works that seed just into the top little bit of the ground so that um, it kind of plants itself, if you will. So that's why we try and do it now. Well, look, I got a box sitting here waiting for me. I ordered some stuff from Precision Planting. This is a flagging emergence kit. You may remember us doing that last year uh, where when the plants, the corn was coming out of the ground, we went out and flagged the plants that emerged every day, kind of checking to see uh, how evenly and quickly they came up. And then we left the flags there so that later in the year we could harvest the ears and kind of sort them by the day they emerged to see what kind of differences there were uh, in ear size. Last year I did it in one of the later planted fields that all came up very evenly. Um, but yeah, so I, I got another, I actually got two kits. We're going to try and do two different fields, one of the first planted fields and one of the late planted fields. Now, that's easier said than done because sometimes the early planted corn is coming out of the ground before I get a chance to go and you know look at it and see but yeah cool he even gave me some stickers how about that and then i got this thing i don't know if it was gonna work or not but it was relatively cheap and i thought well let's try it so i'll show you let me just show you what this is for this is for in our uh, cornfields when we are trying to uh see get stuff adjusted right we can hook it on here somehow and it's supposed to it's supposed to hold our closing wheels up so that they don't close the trench. Oh man, it take two hands to put that on there. There, it goes like that, and it holds the closing wheels up so that theoretically it leaves it open and you can see the seed and the fertilizer and stuff down in that trench and see uh, what kind of a job that it is doing. And it should help me do a little evaluation of our planter a little bit better. Now, I've always kind of had the opinion that our ground doesn't hold a seed trench open. Um, the dirt's just kind of kind of collapsed back in on the sides of it because of our tillage system and stuff. But, I don't know. It's not something you run with, you know, you, you go 100 feet with that, not an acre. Okay, well, we looked at some of that, uh, some parts that Brock was working on on the planter a little bit. Got a little uh, routing to do with some hoses and stuff, but we'll figure that out. So I'm going to go back down and sort some seed out for tomorrow's deliveries, get everything ready to go. The first one is only going to be three pallets, I think, maybe four. I don't know, I'm debating whether I take my old truck and trailer or not. It's got to go a ways. But it might make it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we're doing lots of sorting here. Uh, pulling stuff out, trying to find. There's five orders we're doing tomorrow on two trips. And so I'm trying to get everything ready. We've got one pallet of corn over there, one pallet of beans that's ready to go. We've got some boxes we got to get, but we're going to get them in a little bit. Um, I have figured out that I made a mistake already. Dang it! I delivered the wrong stuff to somebody here. One of the, actually just the last one this afternoon. Um, the right hybrid, but we have a couple of different treatment options. And very, very rarely does anybody order the, um, 1250 seed treatment of our corn. Like, I don't sell it ever, so it's not something I looked for. And this customer wanted the 1250. I took him the regular stuff. It's the right hybrid, just the wrong treatment. Dang it. That's all right. We can fix that. Um, we'll just have to swap it out with him sometime. I'll have to call him and tell him I made a mistake, which is never fun, but it's okay. At least I caught it now and not later. Okay. Well, I got everything sorted out that we need for tomorrow. Let's pick up some cardboard here. We've got that pallet that goes to a customer. We've got that pallet that's corn for a customer. We've got that pallet that is corn for a customer with no beans. And then those two are going to go on the same trailer load as that pallet for a customer. But he also has, I think, four boxes of corn. Untreated boxes. So we're going to take him those. That pallet is for a customer with 
there beans for that one? Yes, one box of beans that is over there already treated. And then it goes on the same trailer load as that pallet. That's our morning run. So there's only three pallets in that morning one. I could take the old truck. I don't know if I want to, but I could. So anyway, I'm sure I don't have enough to publish this for tomorrow. So we're just going to, we'll see you guys in the morning and we'll keep this one rolling. All right. Good morning. We're loaded up. We're getting ready to make a delivery. We had a, uh-oh. Boys locked my keys in my truck. Good thing my other set's here. Okay. Anyway, we had a uh, quick meeting with our insurance agent today. Go over the farm policies, not crop insurance agent, just insurance. So we got that done. Boys are hanging out with Grandpa. He's getting a 9R out today. Going to do some chiseling, it sounds like. We'll check in on that when we get back. We've got a delivery to make. Three boxes or three pallets, not boxes. One box, two pallets um, this morning. So taking the old truck. Oh, look at that. We got a little field work going on up here. Getting some chiseling done. I don't know how much rain they've got, but that looks like a pretty sandy ridge right there. So, uh, yeah, cool. I mean, it's not a bean planter, but it's something. That one was a long trip. Dad's got a tractor out, though. He's got the boys. I see them leaving my house down here, so they must have needed to get something. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to get loaded up. I got another run to go this afternoon. We can't be to this guy's place until like 2.30, though, so I might have a little bit of time. Which means we can see what he's doing with the 9R. And uh, film that a little bit, watch it, or uh, maybe take an hour and spread some clover seed or something. But we got to be loaded up and ready to go, so we're going to see how long. That takes. There they go. I don't see the boys in there, but I'm pretty sure he's got them. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I am loaded up. I think we still got a little bit of time. I'm going to head down to the farm there. We'll grab the gator, go see how he's doing. I'll throw this address into my GPS and see what time I got to leave for sure. Well, we don't have a lot of time before I got to get going. Um, but I'll go show you what Dad's doing with the 9R and the chisel plow. He's uh, been cleaning up a fence row. I showed you a little bit. Uh, we'll just take the gator or the ATV. I don't know where the gator's at. It might be in the back of the shop. It's got the clover cedar in it. Let's just take this. I see no little boys in that cab. I don't know where they're at. There was a fence row here that Dad's been cleaning up, taking out some brush, digging some stumps out. And he had everything fairly cleaned up, but wanted to run the chisel plow through it here. It's got the sunflower chisel on in order to uh, loosen up some of the roots, sticks, and stuff that's buried in the ground and you can't get. So that's what he's doing. Not a lot. Not a lot of field work, but we're just like those guys I saw earlier today on the sand. Actually, we're a lot drier here. You can see there was moisture and or wet, ground was wet on top up there. We're pretty dry. You can see he's digging up some sticks, dragging some behind him there, a bunch of stuff laying out here. Four-wheeler's not running the best here. This did not go all the way across the field, just kind of stuck out into it here, so it will be pretty nice to not have to farm around it once we get it all cleaned up here. This is one of the fields that I did a boundary map on uh, the other day, last week, or Monday, I guess it was, earlier this week, because now that there's no fence row here, the boundary has changed. We're hoping that uh, the spots where he dug stumps out and stuff aren't going to be super soft this spring and we end up getting stuck, but yeah, we got a lot of sticks to clean up, it looks like to me. He's dragging up because of all the sticks that he's collecting. Aha! Uh -huh. There it all fall out. I need to get some boys out here with some gloves on and start picking some up. That's what we need to have happen. Anyway, just thought I'd come check it out and have something in this video other than there's a loaded trailer, here's an empty trailer, because that's about all I'm doing. I was hoping to spread a little clover seed today, but I'm not going to have time. we got to go make this delivery, and then as soon as we get back, we got to load up for tomorrow morning. Uh, I had one the guy wants, wants seed tomorrow, or would take seed tomorrow morning, but he wanted me to be there at 8 o'clock. He's an hour away, so ooh. 
that one, that big root that's sticking up there, just about ripped the hydraulic line off. Alright, good deal. I suppose I should go see if the boys are in the house. Maybe Grandma's home and they're hanging out with her. Oh man, got back from that trip. We got another full trailer load. This one's for tomorrow. So uh, I also was happened to be driving by the store where I bought this trailer. And so I swung in there real fast and I got, I got two new shocks. Did I tell you? I don't know if I've told you this, but the, uh, the shocks on my lid for my stuff here quit working. We got some replacements. We're going to install those real fast. Never mind, they gave me the wrong ones. This is the no good one. These are the ones that they gave me. And ugh, now I can't pull it out. Anyway, it's not long enough. It doesn't even hardly open. Gosh dang it. All right, well, the good news is we've got to take the trailer back up there sometime because there was a recall on the tires, apparently something i don't know but i've got some tires that they're gonna swap out because they're under recall so anyway when we go back we'll complain that they gave me the wrong shocks it's not that difficult it's not that hard but whatever okay everybody forgot to wrap this one up because well today's good friday i had church tonight so i was kind of in a hurry loading that trailer and then getting the boys and getting to church tonight and stuff so by the time you're seeing this it's probably saturday uh, and tomorrow is Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. I uh, hope you have a great Easter weekend, and uh, we'll be back on Monday. Um, there's chances of rain kind of the next five days, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that delivery that I've got loaded up tomorrow morning or not. We're all boxes. Should be okay. We'll see. But um, we need to keep delivering seed next week. The end of the week looks better. Hopefully we can get a lot done. Looks like we're going to have some time to treat a lot um, Tuesday, maybe. And hopefully we'll get a chance to spread that clover seed. Um, should get a little bit of different stuff in the first part of the week, though. So see you guys later.